Good morning. We have just pulled into the car park of Thorpe Perro Arboretum to run Thorpe Perro Park Run event number seven. And with me, I have Poppy and Steve. Poppy just said to Steve, Steve, do you have better shoes this time? Because a few weeks ago, Steve ran with us and the sole completely fell off his shoe. But the answer is yes, thank goodness. They're looking a bit better, aren't they? The sole is attached. <laughs> It's a glorious day to visit. The sun is shining and there is a steady stream of cars heading down to the car park. It might be a pretty busy one today. I have seen lots of people arriving with cow buffs, so lots of tourists. Our park run friends, the woods, they've just pulled in, so Poppy's going to be super pleased. Her park run BFF, Faith, will be here. Faith isn't 11 yet, so she still has to stay with an adult. And I just know, Although Poppy has the choice, this is her first park run as an over 11. She does not today or forevermore need to be in arm's reach of me, but I know she's gonna to want to be with Faith today. So um, I don't think I'll have that sort of parental anxiety. Anyway, yes, lots of tourists. They, these guys have been canceled for the last three weeks because of Halloween. They've had a Halloween trail here. So I think as a tourist, it's something to bear in mind. They might be canceled Christmas, Easter, we'll find out, but definitely check because they do cancel when they have events here at the Arboretum. Heading this way towards the park run flag. And I, I did just think, and there's lots of parking here. And heading in, Michael's upset it's a junior park run flag. <laughs> It's quite the day for new things today. Steve's in his new shoes and Michael and I, we're in our new parkrun jackets. Check us out. On brand. On brand, check us. Um, I love it, do you love it? Yeah, if a little bit crisp packety. <laughs> they are a bit noisy, but I, yeah, no, I love it. It's got thumb holes, yay. Anyway, this isn't an advert for parkrun kit. Um, <laughs> although they obviously support the future of parkrun. We're at an Arboretum in autumn. I'm really excited. I hope there's some really colourful trees. Um, one lapper. Apparently it's going to be muddy. Are you in your trail shoes? Yep, new trail shoes. Are you in new shoes? You're in new shoes every time I see you. <laughs> <laughs> The park run pop-up is here. There is a selfie frame there over against the tree. But everybody's wandering this way because the first timers is about to start. But I imagine that's going to be a lot of the people here. Welcome to Thorpe Perro Park Run. Have we got anyone that's, this is your first time ever park running? Welcome Yay, to welcome to the park run family. You have picked the prettiest park run to start with. It's downhill from here. <laughs> just wandering up to the start line and then we'll have a run brief haven't seen poppy she came and whispered to me during the first timers i'm gonna be with faith and danielle and that's it i'll see her at the finish of park run i guess it's beautiful the weather is fantastic how could you not enjoy being out today in this wonderful place it is very boggy in places we as you will be aware we've had a lot of rain especially the last kilometre which is basically coming across the field here behind me it is quite wet and muddy underfoot obviously autumn all of these beautiful trees which the aboriginals well know have dropped their dog alert oh no have <laughs> dropped their trees so those also may be quite slippy oh no the park has lost his dog in the background <laughs> you need to be within arm's distance of your adult who is running with you please it's been caught to me so we keep <laughs> 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 
We go on a beautiful trail. Michael and I were just saying we're not sure our shoes are tight enough. Depends how boggy the boggy bits are. <laughs> I'm like, where am I going to stop and do the map? I don't think so. I think I'm just going to chance it. Keep my fingers crossed, but it's already looking pretty muddy and this is on a good track. <laughs> Leaving the track now, heading onto the grass. Thank you, Marshall. Thank you, Marshall. I'm trying to look back and see where Poppy is, but I need to learn to chill. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Especially on one lap, as I think I will be nervous in the future if she's not with me. We've gone onto grass now, my knee's liking that. Trying to recover from my knee injury. Um, don't think I did myself any favours doing a trail marathon on it. Definitely set me back, but I don't regret it because I loved it. I've just done a mile a day to maintain my run streak since then. But this would be perfect. Steady run, three miles on squashy ground. I think it'll love it. Okay, it's proper mud. <laughs> proper mud. Somebody just fell over down here. So, um, <laughs> you, whoa, I just, yeah, okay. <laughs> I just slid. Now it's not been on for the past three weeks, so over the winter it'll be interesting to see how churned up this will get. Very much so, I imagine. Thank you so much, Marshall. God, that's a beautiful Marshall spot. Oh, I love this bit. We can see everybody coming towards us over there. So not a PB course, it's only week seven, but the course record, I think the men's is just under 18 minutes, the women's 21. So yeah, definitely not a fast course. Heading into the next field. Thank you, Marshall. Down the lane. But look at this field. I love that you can see park runners just spread out everywhere. This track. It's a really nice surprise. Really firm underfoot. Really good running. Oh, that was Michael waving to Poppy and Faith. <laughs> They're walking at the back. Oh dear, Poppy didn't take her coat off, so she's in like four layers. <laughs> she's already got a coat and her waist. <laughs> she's gonna have to learn to deal with these things on her own. Not sure how but we've beeped a mile already that's gone really quickly i think it does with one lappers doesn't it the scenery is constantly changing we've got no reference like on a three or four or five lapper we we're just having a lovely chat because i just said oh so overdressed i'm hot michael said the same and then there's a lady in front she's the same she's in a coat my goodness i think it's about six degrees but in the shade it felt really cold but the sun's got warmth to it already just couldn't be a better day to visit Thorpe Perro Arboretum or Thorpe Perro Park Run I should say it's more proper mud here but you can negotiate it the ground is actually a whole lot better than I thought it would be this track is awesome hard compacted can't see this getting particularly muddy even in the depths of winter. I do, however, feel like I'm running with two lead weights on my feet there. <laughs> I've collected so much mud. My feet are just so heavy. <laughs> I love the variety on this course. Wooded sections, open fields, mud, track. Thank you, Marshall. <laughs> the cutest little doggy. <laughs> Bet Poppy and Faith stopped there for a while. <laughs> We've just passed an arrow and it had 2,600 meters on it. That made me look at my watch halfway. Teeny tiny uphill here. There's Marshall's in an awesome spot. Thank you, Marshall. It's a lovely spot in the sun. So 
thank you so much. And I think, just in the background here, I don't think it'll come out. Camera is Thorpe Perro Country House. What a day. I was just chatting to some runners and they were saying this is the sheep field and we were like, well, where are the sheep? <laughs> but I can see them now. <laughs> There's hundreds of them all in a massive flock. It's like they're being herded by park runners. <laughs> we're just at the 3k point heading towards the sheep. And although we've come into a field now, the grass is really firm. So yeah, so far so good. Still got two shoes on my feet. <laughs> I was worried at that first bit. We're at two miles. Rejoining a really decent path. Yeah, I wasn't expecting any of these hard surfaces. I'm not sure if I'm pleased or not pleased. <laughs> Definitely makes it a lot faster than it would be. It was a little bit of a slog up through that hill. A little bit uphill, a little bit squishy, not boggy at all, but oh, slows you down a little bit, makes it a little bit harder. We're about to turn left here, but I will just stop for a second and show you the country house because it is rather lovely, especially in this morning sunshine. So I'm assuming that that's Thorpe Perro country house. Yeah. It looks lovely. We're turning the corner here. Can you see the sheep in the background? The sheep seem to have calmed down a bit. Oh no, maybe they're on the move again. They can't decide what to do. <laughs> Bless them. They're like, all we wanted was a peaceful morning and all these runners are coming through our field. I'm intrigued. I think they sort of want to come past the runners. They're thinking about it. Off they go. Oh, they're chancing it. Off they go, off they go. Now, now what are people going to do? That's brilliant. Oh, I feel like I'm sort of in the middle of it here. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was lovely. <laughs> oh, amazing. And off they go. I think, look, they've all stopped now. Maybe the sheep are just having fun. Amazing. Was that? <laughs> I know, that was so cool. I think maybe they're like, right, guys, now go back. Oh, no, look. There's a couple that are like, <laughs> we're not with our friends. <laughs> go on, guys. <laughs> yeah, wasn't it? Wasn't it just stunning? Wow. Through the sheep field. And we're now next to a gorgeous lake. What does this course not have? It's got some trippy tree roots. <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna have to quickly stop because look at that for a view of Park Run. You've got the house in the background. Park Run is coming through, leaving the sheep field and a glorious lake. <laughs> it's stunning here. Thank you, Marshall. Into a grassy field. The color of this tree is absolutely gorgeous. I was sort of on for a decent run. <laughs> I've got so distracted by all the beauty that now I'm just like, no, I'm gonna enjoy being here. This is one of the bigger holes that the team have coned out for us. It's all part of trail running, although when this ground freezes, this course will be interesting because <laughs> this field that we're in at the moment is fairly rutted. I've just stopped to enjoy the house from another view. It's a private residence. This is all private land, so imagine living there. And if you live there, do you know what you get? You get a park run on your doorstep. And there's that amazing tree in the background there. Well, I found the boggiest bit of the course. All of a sudden, it's sort of like a deep mud. This is where you're going to lose your shoes. If you're going to lose them anywhere, it's going to be right here. Can you make sure you fall over for the camera? <laughs> oh, nearly. I just said to these guys, can you go over for the camera? <laughs> nearly. It's very, very, very muddy here. Whoa, oh my gosh. 
It is really. <laughs> oh, yes, so I've still got two shoes. I'm winning. Is it wrong that I sort of want somebody to fall over? Yes, it is wrong. I'm a bad person. <laughs> as long as I didn't get hurt, it would be funny. <laughs> it's all part of cross country running, right? Trail running. Bit of mud. View falls over. I can see the finish in the background, but we're not there yet. I've been chatting to Alan. Thank okay. you so much, Marshall. Fantastic. Stay and, um, and Alan says, I can see the castle from up here. I think we could probably see it at the very start at Snape Castle. But I was too worried about my footing. I wasn't paying attention really to what was around me. There were too many people and uh, lots of muddy puddles. So when I get to the top, I'll try and have a look. So the finish here, yeah, literally just there by the looks of the walking ahead of me. It's a muddy bit. Oh yes, it's actually like a, a mini lake. <laughs> It's not too bad. Over to the side. I've got a cross country race tomorrow. That's good practice. <laughs> oh, this is it's quite deep, isn't it? Oh, right, look at that. Look at that. That's pretty wet. Oh, boggy, boggy, boggy. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two totally soaked feet now. This is my 199th different park run venue today. Looking forward to celebrating my arbitrary 200th different venue in a few weeks. But I think that Thought Paro Park Run has been the run that has the most variety. Sort of really deep, muddy, puddly sections. Actually really good tarmac, grass, woodland, tree roots, literally a bit of everything. Oh, sand, hasn't got sand. I think that's the only thing. Coming towards our final turn, sort of a horseshoe turn here onto the longish finish straight. Thank you so much. Oh, I might have to deviate and have a quick look at the castle. <laughs> so, finish straight down along there, but Snape Castle here. It's a grade one listed building. I think it's a private residence. I don't think you can go in it, but. Really lovely to have that there, just to look at on the horizon. So yes, Snape Castle would have been very visible <laughs> on the start straight as we came out. And you just literally have to look right. <laughs> but you might fall over. I think this start straight is probably the bit you're most likely to fall over on, to trip over on. Probably most likely to slip over on the mud. But this has lots of sort of pothole -y type puddles, firm underfoot, then down and falling down into a hole. <laughs> so I can totally see now why the course records aren't super quick. I think they will come down. Oh, I've just beat three miles. It lasts a little bit now. Yeah, I think they will come down, but probably not until next summer, until the ground's completely dried out. There's an absolutely gorgeous tree-lined avenue here as your finish straight. Stunningly beautiful. I think I can see Poppy off to my right, actually. Thank you so much. Well done, guys. Michael and Steve, they're at the finish line waiting for us. Cheeky sod. <laughs> oh, thoroughly enjoyed this run. What an absolute stunner. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Well Absolutely done. love that. Well done. <sighs> nice long finish funnel with a beautiful carpet of leaves to walk down. Oh, well done. Thank you so well much, well Token. Thank you. 163. 163. Actually, so I thought there'd be a few more because they've been cancelled for three weeks. I thought lots of tourists might flock this way, but maybe lots of tourists have already visited. It's actually been a really lovely number today. Just waiting for Poppy, Faith and Danielle to come in. We've <laughs> got scanners, but also runners who are scanning and they're, they're having a leaf bath. I've never seen a leaf bath before, so I'm, I'm intrigued. But I, oh my gosh, actually, your legs look really clean now. Oh, I'm a little bit tempted because I don't know if it'll come out. Look at mine. 
So that might be me in a minute. Leaf bathing. Leaf bathing? Leaf bathing, I think. <laughs> it's confession time. I saw the tails over here and thought, oh no, it's not Poppy oh, wow. over there where I thought she was. She was over there with the yes. tails. Uh, so I was just having a picture taken with the selfie frame and I miss the kids coming in. <laughs> so total parenting fail there. Uh, never mind. <laughs> She's over 11, she doesn't care anymore. <laughs> Tails coming in. <laughs> well done. Go Are you tail walking in wellies? I am tail walking in wellies. That's wise. <laughs> but I, haven't got any, I haven't got any tail shoes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was just okay, okay. like, oh, yeah. no. 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 <laughs> you made a wise choice today, yeah. <laughs> looking at everyone's feet and legs. <laughs> I've got wrapped up all warm. I'm going to go and chat to Izzy, today's run director, and record a bit of audio for the podcast. And, oh, I think maybe chat to Pete as well, who is one of the event directors, or the event direct director. I'll find out in a minute. That is hilarious. That's the first time I've seen a tail walker in wellies. I love that. Testament to how wet and muddy it is out there. Faith was in Gore-Tex shoes. She says that's a winner here. So there you go. Top tip. I had such a lovely chat with ED Pete and RD Izzy, recorded some audio for the pod and just been to the cafe, but I forgot, I've got a boot buddy in the back of the van. My sister got it for me, never really used it that much. Oh my gosh, just doing the best job of cleaning my shoes. <laughs> it's literally a little bottle of water with a brush on it. But look at that. They were so bad. I don't know how much I'm going to bother with that, but look at the size. So, I mean, it's not an advert. <laughs> Nobody's paying me for anything, but I'm well impressed with that. Just to give you an idea of how muddy it is, look at my toe. Like, there's an actual full layer of mud on my socks. Not great. <laughs> We chatted so long that the entrance is closed, but if you just let them know that you're park runners, they'll let you come through to the cafe. So let's go and get hot chocolate. So I'm gonna join the queue here. Poppy and everybody are all sat in the corner. Let's get hot chocolate. We've drunk our hot chocolates and we're abandoning our children at the adventure playground. They're too excited. They said they're not interested in a walk around. They want to play there. Actually, I think I might still be Tig. Still be it. Hmm. Maybe I'll go and Tig Michael. <laughs> Take. <laughs> oh, look at that tree! I don't even care if you Tig me back for that. Oh my goodness! That is ridiculously beautiful. The boys are laughing at us because we've been at this tree for too long. But if I can get the sun out of the way and show you how red it is, I just can't even cope. It's so ridiculously beautiful. We've just come down to the water. There's a lovely mini waterfall there. And if your name is Henry, there's a little island, Henry's Island. Anyway, let's carry on exploring. It's really nice to see this side of the house after seeing the other two sides of it while we were park running. What a gorgeous day and what a gorgeous place to be. Public service announcement, no swimming, danger crocodiles. <laughs> I don't feel as scared as when we saw those signs at Ken's Park Run. <laughs> no swimmers though. <laughs> this is these guys trying to look scared. They're not doing it. You're all fired. You're not getting paid. <laughs> because look what we just found. Dun, dun, dun. I take it all back. There are crocodiles. We found the acorn. We're enjoying this. Wow, these are so super cool. That purple is just amazing. We've just come to see the birds of prey, but um, Poppy's feeling a bit sad. She doesn't really like animals in captivity. So she's like, Mom, why did you make me come? It's making me feel sad. Um, the birds are amazing, but it is hard to see them in cages. So it's 
depending on how you feel, you might just want to stick to the gardens. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Um, sorry, little hawk. Hello. Rodney! Rodney! Rodney, hello. say hello again. Hello. Hello. He's like, have you got any intelligent conversation or are you just going to say hello? Hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Rodney. Raven can talk. Hello, Raven can talk. That's so clever. He's got a really human like yeah, voice. Yeah. yeah. We've just been chatting to the staff and they've made us feel a little bit better because they um, take the birds out and exercise and we've been learning about them. And Rodney said hello to Poppy, so she's feeling very happy now. Um, it's still not their natural habitat, but some of them are rescue birds. Yeah. Um, and actually the one bird that's tethered in the middle, they had it in a, a cage. Should I call them cages? It makes them not sound as nice. Um, but he won't sit in one. He just tries to fly against the um, edges. So actually, yeah, they've got the bird's welfare in the forefront of their mind. So that has made us feel better. <laughs> we are obsessed with the meerkats, but they're literally all leaving. They don't like us. Still <laughs> what have we done? <laughs> that meerkat is like, have you gone yet? Because, <laughs> oh no, they're all literally all leaving. Oh, you're back. The babies are out, although they keep running to wherever I'm not. Oh, look, there's one coming back. You're so cute. Oh, look at the baby. The baby one just fell off the log in the background. We're loving the wallabies. These look a lot happier and have a lot more space. The cute little baby ones. And Poppy's remembering our park run tour down under. We're saying goodbye to the wallabies and we're going to go and see the goats. But we've been walking around for so long, I'm so ready to sit down. So I think really we need to go back to the cafe. Um, I think I need another hot chocolate. Hello dudes. These dudes have just been fed, they're a bit excited. A great place to come and visit with kids, the girls are loving it. I don't think you ever get too old for animal, animals, <laughs> animals, really. Yeah, um, Poppy's cheered up now that we've spoken to the people that look after the animals. So, um, yeah, what a lovely park run day with friends. Great place to visit, couldn't have picked a better day. It's getting a bit cold now, the sun is going, it's about 3 p.m. Nearly time to go, hopefully we'll have time for a drink before we leave. This is what we need. I don't even know how to approach it, but we've been waiting for this. We're desperately trying to get the kids to leave the shop, <laughs> but it's such a good shop. Look how cute things are. Love that washing up brush and I've bought a plant for my friend who's just moved house. So yeah, loving these, loving the shop. Um, it's definitely time to go home now though. It's time to say goodbye. So let's head back to the van. We've got the girls. I'm just heading towards the sheep to say goodbye to them. Oh look, the castle's in the background there. The sheep running across was one of the most magical park run experiences I've had. That was amazing. Huge thanks to Izzy and her amazing team for a wonderful park run today. It's been absolutely fantastic. It's gone four o'clock, we spent the whole day here exploring. It's definitely one of those venues that you should come for the day. They do all sorts of things throughout the year and chatting to the team actually, we were saying it's a park run that will change throughout the year. So it's definitely one worth revisiting because the course will change so much. But the Arboretum in autumn has been fantastic. Those reds in the trees, just beautiful. Huge thanks to you guys for watching the video. All of the usual things. Give the video a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more running adventures. Not sure what they'll be, but very soon, maybe two weeks, it will be my 200th park run venue. So I'm excited about that one. And heading for my 650th park run. Not sure if I'm going to celebrate that one or let it pass quietly. It's a long old way to the 1000 club <laughs> from the 500 club, 10 years of running. So I could do with things to cheer me up along the way or <laughs> reasons to celebrate. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Take care and I will see you soon.